are looking into driving through the crisis. I'm speaking to Perpetual Wanjiro. She's a life coach. And of course, uh, a resilience approach to problems like uh, understanding crisis as, as an ever changing emergent dynamic and the phenomenon. How can you become strong even after this COVID 19? You were you before COVID 19, and there will be you even after COVID 19. Good evening. Good evening. Happy uh, to be here with you, and I'm sure we'll be helping someone outside them. Mm -hmm. Now, to begin with, uh, let me uh, put across this particular person who lost the job during mm -hmm. COVID-19. Uh, since the first case was reported in Kenya in March, mm -hmm. uh, weeks later, uh, people began losing their jobs. Uh, companies couldn't pay them. The pay cuts uh, came in. And of course, these are now people who are really stressed. Mm. Now help me to respond to stress response to stress number one grieve that is actually the first place lazima uweze kujua my reality kwa mm -hmm. and i'm going to mention very quickly six areas that we must intentionally uh not really accept but acknowledge our losses all right so it's important for us to look at these six areas and say you know what i have lost mm -hmm. and this is how much i have lost mm -hmm. and number one is spiritually churches are closed Mosques exactly. are closed. Mm -hmm. You know, we probably used to thrive in that. talents, dance kwa church. And we don't have any places to go and express ourselves in that area. Sure. And some of us are even feeling like God has abandoned me, God has forsaken me. Mm -hmm. And that is a reality. Mm -hmm. And then number two is physically. Mm -hmm. We have also lost physically in terms of probably even losing opportunities to go out and work. Mm -hmm. Like we've lost that physical movement. When you know, like I know uh, friends and even myself, the first reaction was to eat a lot. <laughs> I mean, you go to unaenda unafungua fridge, mm -hmm. unajiweka. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know that one has also a uh, physical loss in terms of how I was looking. Right, true. Yeah, in terms of my appearance, in terms of also my sleeping patterns, they were interrupted. Squeeze it unalala usiku na mchana. Yeah. Because of being home throughout. We don't mm -hmm. have patterns to na watch my series usiku. Mm -hmm. Alafu mchana tuna hibernate. Like we have also <laughs> lost our normalcy. Mm -hmm. Na kitu kingine ambacho tume lose kwa uh, tume lose kwa physical ni pia in terms of even our diet. Right. Yeah, like we are more limited than how we were eating before, sometimes even in quantity, mm -hmm. especially kwa uchumi ni mbaya. Sa hii ni bofilo na maziwa. Msena katu huu mkazeke ni kujibonda. Eh, ni kujibonda tu. And then of course the other thing is intellectual. We have lost our ability to use our mind. Mm -hmm. You know, ulikuanga mkreative, ulikuanga unajua kuna my ideas. And right mm -hmm. now there are people who are stuck in terms of their creativity, their imagination, yeah, which is also a reality. You need to lose, uh, to acknowledge that loss. Right. Yeah, and we allow them to trivialize that I ah, yeah, you see big deal. No, it's a big deal if it's a big deal for you. Na kitu kingine ambacho pia tume lose ni kipesa. Many of us have lost mm -hmm. our income the way you were saying. Yeah. By being laid off, we no longer have opportunities to go and earn income. Mm -hmm. The other thing is emotionally, ni vizuri ku acknowledge. I'm struggling with depression, anxiety. I'm struggling with anger sometimes. Yeah, right. You yeah, have become irritable and many other emotions that we are experiencing. And finally, socially. Right. Yeah, I've also lost socially by losing meaningful relationships in my life. What wambao, they used to care for me. Nilikuanga the heart of the party. Saizi rakuna party enyewe. You know, so acknowledge losses in those six areas. Kuna, kuna bazi na fungulu mm. wa sahi. Imagine. <laughs> Kukulu mtu mwalikuwa na nasema, wase ni mekam. Mm -hmm. We don't have anywhere to go and show off anymore. <laughs> Hata zile nguo za vitenge na zile maamungaro, wata atuna kukwenda kukwenda shana. Sikuzi tuna shinana pajama. Mm -hmm. So to also acknowledge that I have lost socially. True. Especially for the extroverts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, um, with all this in mind, what's the danger in that? Number one, the danger is in that is denial. Because first of all, life will never be normal. Hakuna siku tutamka and then tumerudi backward. Happy New Year 2020. Mm -hmm. We are not going back there. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo ni important kwanza to realize that whatever has gone has gone totally. Mm -hmm. Those opportunities I had might never come back mm -hmm. and it's fine mm -hmm. because I still have my creativity, I still have my intelligence, I still have my skillfulness mm -hmm. and I can create other opportunities in my life. Mm -hmm. First of all, to acknowledge that life will never be normal again. This is a new normal permanently. Mm -hmm. The only thing we can have is more normalcy in this situation. Mm -hmm. yeah, companies and the other thing, of course, is to think, how can I reinvent myself and package myself for the future? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. this um, COVID situation it may fast forward mm -hmm. the fourth industrial revolution by five years. That is a reality we are not going back on. Mm -hmm. First of all, when your business processes may be automated, 
And so it means that many opportunities that have been lost are not coming back. Mm -hmm. Like companies will hire less people, more people will work at home, telecommuting will be a normalcy. Kubo kenda online, wone job wanyo wantaka ufanye kazi kwa nyumba, please apply chap chap. Zile jobs za kwenda kwa ofisi, they are going to diminish. Actually, yeah, and so true. to start repackaging myself to become future relevant. Mm -hmm. I might actually be working with machines more than people. True. How does that feel for an extrovert? Because I would have called Kumezona Kuna Office, Kona to me and Bill. And so to Tom Moshene, sorry, me. Machapa Moshene, Kuna Gateman, so easy probably gate you automate you, Kuneza Kuta, Kunenda Ko Office in a between gate and a desk, Kola Brujukana Namtu. Because everything is automated. That is the reality we need to start adapting to. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, um, that's the reality. Mm -hmm. How now do I survive with the reality mindful of, uh, reaction mindful of now this is my new norm, this is me, this is me. I will not uh, be in an office where there are people ni wambie shida zangu, to sengenyane, especially <laughs> our sisters. Hey, to pale. <laughs> and then, ni meambue, you can work from home. Imagine. How, how now do I survive this? Number one, survival is, just the way I said, number one, be adaptive. Mm -hmm. You know, just be adaptive and tell yourself this is the new world. Mm -hmm. It is how, how it is. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is also to look at how do I get support on that need that I have to meet it probably in another space that is not work. Mm -hmm. You know, because bado is all my areas in in terms of socializing, how can I socialize beyond work? How can I hang out beyond the office? Mm -hmm. To start looking at other spaces that I can still need, meet my need for connection. Mm -hmm. You know, and of course, I feel like people care for me. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is for us to also take initiative in terms of knowing I can also reach out from where I am. Kaki mm -hmm. to realize, like even for children, they can do voice calls when there's a onana kwa Zoom, like to also see that as an alternative means of communication without necessarily waiting for the mm -hmm. physical comeback. Mm -hmm. And of course, the other thing ambayo on in Afkiria, which will also be a remedy, is to seek support. If you're struggling with these realities, please don't be ashamed. Everyone is, by the way. Mm -hmm. Please go ahead and express yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, just remember, remind yourself there is a new normal, but also seek support to adapt to the new normal in a functional way. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Now, I have learned to uh, survive through the crisis. Mm -hmm. There will be post-COVID-19. Yes. Nita Rikavaji. I think everyone should start recovering right now, right mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And I just want to share quickly five things where you can start looking at your recovery plan. Mm -hmm. Number one, look at your giftings. Right. Yeah, and, and one of the assessments I usually take my clients through is to look at, um, am I a good leader? Mm -hmm. Am I a motivator? Mm -hmm. Am I a teacher? I love giving people instructions. Mm -hmm. Am I a giver? I love sharing resources and distributing them. Am I a servant? I love serving other people. Am, am I full of mercy and compassion? And I like showing people that. Mm -hmm. Am I also prophetic? In a way, kuna binye na unanga vitu naanza kuona. By the vitu zina adapt. Mm -hmm. Amo na tuna weird ideas within you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I even think people who work for stock exchange, sangino watu wa spot pesa na usiwambie. There are people who are able to do predictions so accurately in a way that they are prophetic. It's not just a natural thing. Mm -hmm. And I know there are people who, as I'm mentioning these things, they can actually identify these are my giftings. And mm -hmm. you need to start asking yourself, how can I leverage on this gift? gifting right. as an opportunity because those are standard they are irreducible minimums in my life mm -hmm. and they are things that I'm natural at at mm -hmm. and then number two look at your heart's desires what are you passionate about what which are the groups you are passionate about unaonanga maybe watoto wa kisafa ama ni watu wazee ama probably ni children's homes na watu wa street ama ni probably like, just look at which people una feeling pulled towards this idea. Mm -hmm. That is also an opportunity because that is your heart's desire. And also, uh, what are some of the things that annoy you? Hata vitu zaizuwa zina kubo, na zina kujamisha, those can be opportunities. Because mm -hmm. probably they are called to your attention because it's something you're interested in. Mm -hmm. So start looking at your heart's desires as things that you can actually uh, meet by changing the world and doing something out there. Mm -hmm. Number three, abilities. What right. unasemanga ukopo na nini? Mm -hmm. My compliments, hey, by the unakuanga hivi, unakuanga hivi. Mm -hmm. Hey, by the una, like, like, personally people compliment me that, hey, by the way, unajua kuongea. Mm -hmm. So I see that as an ability, and I'm able to ask myself, how can I make money from my ability? Exactly. So look at how you can monetize your abilities. Mm -hmm. Number four, personality. When mtu wakupenda huku unji, ama mtu wakupenda huku ndani. Mm -hmm. And I love saying, bloggers wengi, by the way, unakuanga introverts. Oh, so... Yeah, they're able to write because they, they value their privacy, and andika lafu ikienda huko inasomo na watu. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, we, na even we, in a trend. Imagine <laughs> wana shine lakini hawapendi kuongea mbele ya watu. So you can still be an introvert but you still influence the world. Mm -hmm. Na extrovert sisi wase wa kutokelezea. Mm -hmm. Unaweza tokelezea and you are paid for that. Right. And then finally your experiences in life whatever you're going through right now, whatever you've gone through in the past. Mm -hmm. Everything that you've overcome, you can actually leverage on it. Mm -hmm. Once you start looking at it as an opportunity. Okay. And so if you look around those five things in your life, you can actually see opportunities right now mm -hmm. and then you start packaging those opportunities, packaging yourself for opportunities that are similar. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. you've mentioned of the opportunities and how you can utilize them, but what's the wingo na semangaji? Mimi niko na idea, but sina platform. Mm -hmm. An example umesema my introvert na bloggers mm -hmm. na nini and then wasi wanapenda kuongea. Yeah. Uh, those things that I feel indeed I can do this. Mm -hmm. But platform how now do i identify a platform do you know how to identify a platform ya kutumia talent hmm. yao and one of the things i will say right now we are living in a generation ya kwamba everybody can be a celebrity for 5 minutes mm -hmm. kila mtu regardless of uko mashinani wapi mm -hmm. kama kale ka boy nini kalifanyanga <laughs> kale ka boy oh mwenye alienda ngaba sijui alikatazama kukuingia birthday like it was something oh, makeki madwiti. Oh, yeah. You know, like that boy got so many opportunities <laughs> from that. Mm -hmm. And one of the things I usually say, if you don't have a platform, mm -hmm. create your own. Right. Yeah, make where you are become a platform. Nowadays, as long as you have a smartphone, not a camera icon, a 3 MP, mm -hmm. a sim on your camera, mm -hmm. yeah. please film yourself and take it out there. Mm -hmm. And personally, that is what I do. I create my own social media platforms and I keep mm -hmm. on hyping what what I'm passionate about there. Mm -hmm. Someone notices it, like recently I got an opportunity for a TV show just because someone went to my wall and they were like, yeah, by the way, yeah, the vulnerable generation, we need to have this conversation on Monday. True. You know, so put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. You never know which one day you'll find yourself trending and on top of things. And mm -hmm. to expose, and to expose, and to expose, and everyone who is looking for you will spot you. Mm -hmm when you raise the smoke from where you are. All right. Yes. Now, before you before take a very short break, mm -hmm. uh, this is the idea I have. Yes. Nimejua, ti nimejua timeline. Mm -hmm. Now, how do I help myself? How mm. do I help myself to know that uh, in the next two months mm -hmm. or in the next one month mm -hmm. or maybe in a near, mm -hmm. I want to be here? Yes. Transitional timelines. How yes. do I uh, panga myself? This is where I want to be, and mm -hmm. this is who I want to be in the next uh, mm -hmm. this particular period of time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Number one, first of all, I love telling people research, research, research on that area. Make sure that you become an authority. And one of those to become authority, mm -hmm. if you spend ten thousand hours on anything, mm -hmm. you are an expert. Mm -hmm. a consultant. You know, like invest in it. One of the things I usually say, immerse yourself into it. Watch videos about that. Mm -hmm. Look for people who are doing that. Mm -hmm. Read about it. Like, like become so exposed mm -hmm. in a way that it's, it just flows naturally. Mm -hmm. That talent, that ability, you know, that thing that you have. Make sure that it is really shiny because it is well polished with knowledge and information. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing, make sure that you also get mentorship. Mm -hmm. Look for people who are already thriving. Angalia mtu mwenye akop saizi penye unataka kukua in those mm -hmm. two years. Mm -hmm. Start stalking them if possible. Look for them, look, for, look around their networks, look at least for five people and start following them diligently, learning from them. If possible, access them. Mm -hmm. I love saying there is nobody who is not accessible in this world. Right. Instagram mm -hmm. Twitter. Like even that girl who got a, um, I think there's a song that she sang and it trended. Mm -hmm. A young girl. Sorry, I'm a bit... Uh, Poor with remembering, but that girl Alimba Wimbo a celebrity fulani, alafu akam tag. Who a celebrity when Eliona yo Wimbo. You know, she helped that girl do recording, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you call attention to anyone that you know that can help you. Yeah. And the other thing that I also love saying is be patient. Mm -hmm. Be patient. Out a trend to next year. Now, a lot of people are trend. Please be consistent. Put yourself out there. Over and over again, mm -hmm. and then be patient and wait for the breakthrough. But keep on doing it. Don't give up. Actually, don't lose that, hope. that's one thing you'll be mentioning when we come back because most of the youth nowadays, actually in the recent past, they want the uh, microwave things to happen. I know. Our patients not have to happen and to pop, pop, pop. So we'll be taking a very short break, and when we come back, we'll be looking into that. Uh, how can you be patient? The self-assessment, and then how will you now thrive now that you have all the ideas? How will you thrive in this? Uh, pandemic. Uh, keep it Y254. We take a very short break. Do not go too far.
Y254. Imagine. Thank you for keeping us company and if you just tuned in, this is Y254 Lifestyle and Health Wednesday. We are talking about thriving through or during or amidst a crisis. Uh, before we went on break, we talked about the stress response, mindful reaction, the survival, the reaction and transitional timeline. Where actually to me, most of the youths do not take time. Atupendi kungoja, tunatakanga pap, 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 microwave things. What do we have to tell these youth who when you have to say, I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. I'm going to find you. It's a good thing because I'm going to be ambitious. But that's one of my big dreams. You know, and that is something to compliment ourselves. Mm -hmm. Because in the past, people used to wait for things to just happen. Right. To promotions, mm -hmm. But right now, we want to show up in an organization and within two months to go to board. You not talk about manager. 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 You not know? yeah. mm -hmm. But the other thing is because we we also we have also been socialized. Like to me, watch the two mingi zetu nonanga ni kwa tuali start from the top. Mm -hmm. uh, we are seeing so much celebrities. We are seeing the things they have, and by coveting those things and desiring them, wakati mwenye tu nakuwa ya kwamba I'm not not able to wait because like I feel like I'm failing. Nangaliu celebrity, to say metakawa mak Zuckerberg, I'm mm -hmm. bahati the local ones, and I'm just thinking they have that car. I also need to have that car. How old are they? Sita mimi ni kona yo mekata mimi nimeze kumshinda. Kona ni yako na yo gari na sina. Kona ni yako na yo kampuni na sina. Also the problem of comparison. Exactly. Because of the exposure, we can see and then we want. Mm -hmm. And the other thing it's because also by spending too much time online. Sometimes we don't realize that I'm not working on my dreams. I'm still looking at the pro portraits of where I want to go. Mm -hmm. But I'm not putting my efforts to see how do I get there. Right. And to just understand it's progressive. Everybody has their own success story. And success is beyond material things. If mm -hmm. that is the only measure I have for my life, I will always live frustrated. Mm -hmm. Because if I don't see these other successes, then my spirit is dampened even to get to that lofty thing. This is where I want to be. Mm -hmm. But it's because I don't appreciate my small milestones. Mm -hmm. And so the other thing we need to do is actually to be grateful. I need to have a gratitude culture. Right. And to also realize that that is the social reel. We usually say in the social media reel, we want to put the best foot forward. Like in Akwambi Madenis Nyakonazo. True. Akwambi stress and Yakonazo. Akwambi pressure and Yakonayo. I'm only seeing what they have. And so sometimes by also having a realistic frame that that is their story, I have my story, and my story sometimes is beautiful than their story. I need to start assessing myself fairly. In terms of a my failure or a success, ni yacho tu kujijaj na kujikompea na watu ingine. Because mm -hmm. sometimes if I'm given that seat that they are sitting on, mm -hmm. I may actually say no thanks. Ukenza kuniambia what else is behind that seat, and so admire them, but also admire yourself. Actually, now that you mention it, most of the uh, most of us want to be someone else because of what they they have or how they are. Mm -hmm. But mostly, most many of the times, you do not want to know their story. Very I true. just want to be so and so. But staki kujua alipitia njiagani ndio afike apo. We we don't want that story. Mm -hmm. But now uh, you mentioned about now realizing uh, your talent and your mm -hmm. gifts, and you even talked about the platform. Mm -hmm. There's a guy who has sat down and mefikiria mna by the me na konga na na idea biashara, and then. Asha fungua, ame patadua, ame asha fungua, lafu, uh, let's go for something simple. Amenda, amenda, ame fungua kabia shara, kadogo, anataka ikwe, like, uh, supermarket. Mm -hmm. Alafu, six, down, uh, six months down the line, anawana, I grow. Mm -hmm. Ame anza kukua, beaten up, up like, bona I work. Mm -hmm. So, um, say, shida yake ni nini? Number one, mina semanga, kabla hau jefungua yokitu, ume grow mbaka ukwe pali panya uneza i sustain. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking, are you equipped as a supermarket owner? You're going to have to come to a kiosk and that is your level of exposure. Do you know mm -hmm. what entails the logistics of running a supermarket? Mm -hmm. Do you understand the overheads will be higher? Right. Do you understand you will need to supervise more people? Are you good in relationships? Mm -hmm. Do you realize we'll need to manage more money? Are you compliant even in your small business? Mm -hmm. So that you're looking at as I'm expanding, am I also prepared for the expansion? Mm -hmm. So it's not just a wish, mm -hmm. but it's something I'm working towards progressively. Can I qualify for a loan in a bank? Because honestly, you can pay 10 million of money. You know, brand is a super. But are you qualified for that? And when you look at the qualifications, you can go to a bank and go to a bank. You can go to a bank and go to a bank. You can go to a bank. So that you can go to a bank and run the Kiwa supermarket owner mindset. True. So that I think I'm a supermarket size. So that I'm working towards it consciously. And I'm seeing a supermarket in my small shop. And I'm behaving like a supermarket owner 
from my small shop mpaka customer care mm -hmm. ukikuja hapo mpaka na ku na ku na karibu nipige marashi mm -hmm. na ni sanitize kila kitu kwa sababu ninafikiria mm -hmm. what will happen in a big supermarket mm -hmm. alafu of course the other thing pia ni kuangalia the personal uh, development mm -hmm. in terms of which skills do i need to mm -hmm. get to that level which networks do i need to get to that level mm -hmm. yeah because there are also organizations associations ambao zinaweza kusaidia so that mm -hmm. your credentials are higher mm -hmm. and you're actually qualified for those opportunities mm -hmm. and the other thing maybe am i a good partner because wakati mwingine inaweza kuwa partnerships ukizangalia kama ku open franchise tuseme ni kama kenchi alafu nataka kuleta kenchi yangu mtaani Mm -hmm. Do I look at what are the requirements, even in terms of being a partner in that mm -hmm. big thing mm -hmm. that I'm seeing out there? Mm -hmm. Na kitu ngine pia, actually, hiyo story ya kufikiria kama partner, it's, it's way, way uh, much viable. Because wakati mwine na zakuwa sina hizo resources za kuanza pale chini. It may even be expensive. Mm -hmm. Kama sa hizi kampunis, hizi ambazo zinauza majia refill. There are some that come and they brand you, uh, they brand you and they give you the equipment. Alafu unanza kuuza maji. But you see, you have to be someone that is... Mm -hmm. with a partnership mindset so that i'm not thinking by then asaje tu power alafu nifungue kitu yangu because sometimes we are also we also have the selfish mindset exactly. i'm not thinking about adding to the value and the common good of everyone mm -hmm. so am i thinking of myself as a partner mm -hmm. so that i can get opportunities to synergize with other people and then i'm able to achieve my dream in the process exactly yes. and i think that idea is, or the, uh, that insight goes hand in hand with people who want to be uh, celebrities you know when you become a celeb you'll be trolled online are you ready to uh, Very do you true. have the, the stand eh? yes. uh, the, the, the hard skin energy. when people will come trolling you kwa hiyo tunataka kwa maslahi lakini wajui pia kuna kuanga na shida yake now I let's know. talk about now the bold moves and the uh, how now do i uh, thrive now mm -hmm. so um, when i'm thinking about bold moves i'll just say it in three uh, three points summarize number one, look within mm -hmm. what do i have mara mingi tunaangalia anga huko nje hata huko celebrity kwa sababu ninaangalia celebrity mwingine anataka compete naye lakini wakati mwingine anataka kujiangalia what do i have mm -hmm. what do i have within myself sometimes i'm not even gifted the same way they are and i'm busy following them and trying to copy them mm -hmm. i need to look within mm -hmm. and look at my set of resources mm -hmm. and still going back to where i started what are your gifts what are your abilities what are your uh, what is your personality and as a queer an introvert now any extrovert mm -hmm. you know so it means that you will not appeal to the same people that they appeal to You know, there are people who appeal to quiet people, who are poor, less if you are a sisi. So, so, we're going to put a celebrity in poor, less if you are a sisi. Yeah, because I'm, I'm actually saying that because I'm a kirere. I'm the talkative people. I'm, I'm, I'm the extrovert. I'm on the extrovert side. And by the way, now, now we understand that I'm in the packaging yangu, and I'm okay the way I am. Right. I don't even have to talk quietly. You know, ndio watu waingie box. Ah ah. Na kuja tu niongee hivi yeye wase niaje to believe in yourself, to accept yourself and to be able to see your resourcefulness within. Mm -hmm. And then number two, look around you, what problems do you need to solve? Because we are living in a generation where you are paid to solve problems. True. Kama kuna mashida ambayo unasuluhisha ndio watu watakuona alafu wakuja kukusaidia kusuluhisha. And that mm -hmm. is how you get money. Mm -hmm. And so look around you and look at what are the needs, what are the opportunities, what are the pains of other people. Mm -hmm. that I can actually be willing to go out and fold my shirt and solve them mm -hmm. without having the money first of all in mind. Mm -hmm. I want to be a problem solver. I want to bring solutions. Mm -hmm. I love pesa. It ends up mm -hmm. I know many people who have gotten funding because they pursued solving problems for other people. Mm -hmm. And then someone noticed it and they were like, yeah, by the way, can, can I come and support you? Mm -hmm. So we need to also think from that mindset that I'm a problem solver. I'm a changer and a transformer of my generation. Mm -hmm. And then now resources will come in to enable me to fulfill that bigger mandate. Mm -hmm. Instead of just chasing money and trying to align myself to money. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes money is temporary, mm -hmm. but my greatness is limitless. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. I know you have said so much, but I'm sure you have something, especially now that you are a life coach, where can we find you? Mm -hmm. What do you have to tell these people? This is your camera one. Tell, tell, us, um, tell someone uh, out there something about um, life, especially this COVID-19, mm -hmm. kuna, kuna depression, kuna stresses, mingi is alive. Your final words. Yeah, um, like I said, my name is Papso Anyugi. I'm a life coach, and the three areas that I love working with young people by, because my clients are millennials. Number one is on purpose clarity. You need to know why you are here. And then number two is on wholeness to make sure that I'm functional and 
I've been able to get over the past and I'm not carrying my past into my future, especially if it's painful and many, many, many things that have happened that are pulling me down. And then number three is confidence to live unapologetically regardless of your mistakes and anything that has happened. And those are the three areas that I would love to network and interact with you on. Yeah, please reach out if you need support, if you're feeling like you're struggling and you know you just need someone to help you with clarity. Yeah, maybe I'm, I'm actually willing to give you a free session. Please reach out to me. I'm Coach Paps on Yugi on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube, Reconfidence with Paps, and my website is reconfidence.com. Yes, please reach out. I mean, you are not alone. We have been there, and, and we are able to guide you from where you are, and just know that you are never alone in life. Yeah, please reach out. Help is just a call away. All right, now, need I say more? Mm. You have quite a profile. Uh, you're a psychologist and mentor with a mission to inspire individuals and uh, groups to create the life they desire and desire to live as well. So, thank you so much for keeping us company. And when you get, thank you so much for coming. My and I'll go back to Peter Paps, but you may say, my voice, Hawani. Paps, when you get, actually, actually, if you look for Papetio and Jiro, you will not find them online. Paps, when you get, yeah. All right, thank you so much for coming and uh, trying to speak to our audience. And back home, thank you so much for keeping us company. It has been a lifestyle and, and health Wednesday. I was uh, sitting in for Patricia Murioki. See you again next week on Monday. Uh, keep it white. 254 enjoy the rest of our programmings and have a very good night my name is Dereva Hilary goodbye